Hi guys, here's another video. This video is a front a brake replacement, front pads for Audi 2012, A4 Quattro. Pretty simple, straightforward. So as you guys all know, uh, stay safe. Always put the jack stand under. I usually make this as quick way for me. Um, I use a jack, then I put the jack stand under just to lock it. But if I do all four, then it's a different story. So, and gotta have a light. So I already loosened the uh, studs just a little bit while the car still was on the ground. And then uh, now I gotta just pop up the uh, bolts, the studs out of the wheel. So you don't have to use any air tool or impact tools. You don't have to use it if you don't have it. This is all done basically just by hand. Uh, very easily. Now here we are at the brakes. Once again, these are the front brake and this is front right. So the front right does not have sensor as you see but the front left has a sensor you see these are the uh, caliper 2 brake caliper carrier bolts are they tied on and there's one more down here so what I like to do is uh, uh, use a rubber band or something to hook up up there when you do lose the uh, a brake caliper that we can hang them on keeping in mind that this is an oil supply so you don't want to hang those heavy caliper on that tank and see it came up pretty loose crazy and there's another one down here also look up pretty easy Keep in mind these bolts are not very really tight. So we want to just make sure to use proper torque for them. If you see this one did have a little bit tread locking on there. And I don't like to put the tread lockers on those things. You don't really need to, but Now you have this little guy here. So when you do take this out, be careful. This can pop out and hit your finger. So what I do use, put the rag over it. And I use a screwdriver. Kind of hard to do hold it with one hand. Yep. So putting this back on, if you see this little thing right here, goes right in that hole. So it's gonna go right in that hole and it's gonna hold the color from falling out. Alright. That's that. So I'm holding another camera with one hand. I'm trying to hook this thing on top as high as I can you don't have to have rubber band to do this you can use anything you like you know use anything you like to use just enough to hold your caliper this caliper is pretty heavy and it comes pretty tight to take it out. So what I do, I take a screwdriver, put it in here, but you have to hold at the same time. We will eventually give up. So I'm holding a camera with both hands here. All right, so 
if you see I hang them on a rubber band so it doesn't have a pressure on this thing. So now if you see how this one has this little things that slip into there to hold them up together. So I'm gonna look, I like to look on this side anytime I replace the brake pads. Look if it's everything all right on this side. So I don't see nothing bad whatsoever. Now we gotta press this guy back. Either you can use this tool or you can use a clamp. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, with this tool that I have. Again, I'm holding a camera with one hand. I'm gonna have to set it down. Just back this up. It needs to be. It needs to be that much in, guys. So it's basically all the way it needs to go in in order to set the uh, thing. So if you see, I mean, I'm showing you something that you already know, but you know, working with the one hand, not very really easy. I can show you again. So it's in, as you see, it's gonna sit just like that. So if you see this, to this little thing here, a little like hook so that's going over those things if you see them right there the great brake caliper holders it's gonna go right over there so I'm gonna use some of this thing that's gonna make that caliper to slide easier I do top one first. You kind of push it with your hand up and then drive it in by the fingers first as much as you can. Now the bottom ones. Do the same way. But like I said, don't ever use impact on these things. But any kind of drill can strip that pretty easy. So I'm gonna tie with the hand a little bit. But alright, so we'll tie this one down to 22.175 foot pounds, which is uh almost uh, 23 foot pounds, but check your manual, it might not be same for every car. So Now we'll put the wheel back on, but that's basically it. Um, make sure to wipe off the things. Once again, guys, um, double check on your uh, what's your torque spec on your wheels. Will not. I'm using mine at. Uh, I'm putting mine at 90 foot pounds, but check yours. Yours might be different and when you do tie them see how I stagger I go this one then I go this one then I go this one up here eh? then I go the one down here now I'll just make a full circle with it make sure you go around make sure they all have it That's it. Right, just take a cover. I'm sure you all know how to remove this. Just put something through this hole. Um, if you have a little pick, whatever, and just pull it, it pops right out. Pretty easy. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe.